The Philippines to join the submarine club in Southeast Asia, says international and local news sites. There have been conflicting reports regarding the submarine acquisition project of the Philippine Navy. Pitt's Defense Analysis, another popular Filipino defense-oriented Facebook page, says that the submarine acquisition project of the Philippine Navy is happening under the ReHorizon 3 program, but sadly, it will happen in the latter part of the 10-year timeline of the ReHorizon 3 program of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Meanwhile, foreign news channels like Crux and its local counterparts reported that the Philippines is putting the submarine acquisition program forward toward the early implementation phase of the ReHorizon 3 program in the hope of dissuading China from its expansionist plans in the West Philippine Sea. But certainly, the submarine project of the Philippine Navy is happening as confirmed by the Philippine Navy after President Marcos Jr. gave his approval under ReHorizon 3. The Philippine Navy, though, refused to divulge the number of submarines the Philippines is acquiring, but preferably between two and three subs. The noise of submarine acquisitions of the Philippines also came at a time when the French ambassador to the Philippines, Marie Fontenelle, said recently that her country is very interested in being part of the armed forces of the Philippines' modernization efforts. France is offering submarines, jet fighters, and other defense hardware. France is competing with offers from South Korea, Spain, and Italy, although our sources confirmed that France's offer remains the most complete and definite, while others have only provided basic proposals. That's all for now. PH Latest Updates will keep you posted on the latest developments in the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and other relevant news.